you know, if you have a fever, a cough, shortness of breath, your first worry probably COVID, right? Of course. Well, it could be another respiratory illness we often see here in the desert valley fever and right now we are in the height of the season for valley fever here's monica garcia now with more on why recognizing the difference is really crucial to treatment monica well that's right and the problem is the main symptoms for both illnesses are basically the same so similar that you need to take a test to figure out which one you might have <coughs> It's difficult to tell them apart. This is a season where almost everybody you test for, you've probably got some coxie in your lungs, but your immune system is strong enough to fight it off. Even though valley fever is fungal and COVID is viral, they share a wider range of symptoms. These guys with COVID, they become immune compromised. Phoenix doctor Ed Westerfield says he's concerned that people might be confusing their fatigue, cough, fever, headaches, and shortness of breath for valley fever when they actually have COVID or vice versa. Coxyspores, this is a fungus, lives in soil that's dry and literally that is the entire Phoenix metroplex. Valley fever is spread by breathing in coxyspores that comes from dirt. So outdoors where many people have gone to get away from COVID. The people that get exposed to valley fever, the people that work outside, so construction workers, uh, you know, and anybody doing anything athletic. So, uh, so and that includes, you know, the guys that are taking their morning walk. He says the diagnosis depends on specific laboratory tests. So in other words, if you don't ask your doctor to order a specific test, you may not get an answer whether it is COVID or valley fever. Either way, he says it's a good idea if you do think you have COVID symptoms to go ahead and get tested for valley fever. In Phoenix, I'm Monica Garcia with Arizona's Family.